In this MailChimp video, we're going to show you how to create a list and link your MailChimp account to follow up boss via the API key. So when you first log in and don't have any list, you can just click create a list here. You can also click on lists if you'd like to create a new list and click create list on the left hand side here. So just give it a name like real estate more information. Uh, your default from name, so you just want to use your own name there. The default reply to address, so you want to use your email. And just put a short reminder how people got on your list, so um, made, an, made a real estate inquiry on my website. Check your address details are okay. And check if you want to be notified every time someone subscribes or unsubscribes. And click save. So you've created the list. Now you want to go over to account in the top right hand side and click on API keys click add a key and then you want to highlight this key and right click choose copy or control C and then go over into follow up boss you can get to the MailChimp setup page by hovering over the top right hand menu which is your name and going down to MailChimp setup you end up at this screen so then you want to paste your MailChimp uh, key in here by right clicking and choosing paste and you want to click save and that's going to bring up the real estate more information so then you want to click enable MailChimp integration and you also have this option here to send a welcome email this sends out an email instantly if someone gets subscribed so we'll just leave that off for now so we're going to click save and now our MailChimp accounts are linked so let's go across and create a new contact and let's see that appear in MailChimp so we'll just call it test And we can just add in some details here. Um, we'll put the stage as Hot Prospect, the lead source is IDX website, and we'll mark them as not contacted. Click Save. Now we'll take a few minutes for this to, to sync across to MailChimp. Okay, so if we click on lists, we'll be able to see our subscriber now. Just remember this can take a few minutes to come through on MailChimp's end. We can see one subscriber, click View and to see the details of that person just click on one subscribers this will bring up all the details of people on your list and we can see what's synced across from follow up boss so the email address their first name last name the stage they're at um, the source um, the agent they're assigned to the agent's email the agent's phone number uh, the price if that's been included if th this person has been contacted and the date added and the gender of that information is available from Facebook. So you can see there's a lot of information that's synced across to MailChimp so you'll be able to target your campaigns more precisely. Send relevant information to the right people. Back on the follow up boss side you're going to be able to see when people have opened campaigns, when they've clicked, etc. So when people have sent an autoresponder, if MailChimp re re reports an open or a click back to us, we'll display that email here and when you're sending regular campaigns like newsletters etc we're always going to show you the email even if MailChimp doesn't report an open or a click